Hi guys and welcome back to Bite Size Excel. In this week's video, I'm going to talk about conditional columns in Power Query. And the reason for this is relating to a query that I saw on Quora. And this was basically a question around somebody having a spreadsheet with a column with reference numbers in them, another one with comments, and they wanted to have a solution which would basically return this column D with an expected result, which was to either include or exclude the value depending on what was in columns B and C. Now there's a number of different ways that you can do this using functions. However, in this video, we're going to talk about how you can do it and filter out all the exclude in one easy step by setting up a Power Query. So to do this, what I've done is I've copied this data and I'm now going to jump over to my spreadsheet and show you the steps that I'll go through. So I've opened a blank workbook. I'm going to copy that data using Control Alt and V and I'm going to copy it in as text. Now you can see that it's gone in, separated by columns, into this single column A. Now if you'd like to follow along with this file, I'll include a link to the workbook as it is at the moment in the description below. But for now, let's start by separating out these into separate columns. So we're going to come to our data tab and come over to this text columns. And because they're separated by commas, we select delimited, uncheck my tab and tick my comma and click finish. And you can see now it's gone into separate columns. I'm going to double click just to expand them out so they fit. Now to check my results, I'm going to quickly add in a reference column here at the start. So I'm going to call it ref and we're just going to pop in some numbers, one through to 11, just so that we can check that we're getting the correct output. And I'm then going to format this as a table. Now you can do this by coming to insert and pressing table, or you can come to your home tab, click format as table and select the table style that you want. I've got headers, so I'm going to check this My Table Has Headers box and click OK. I then want to load this into Power Query. So to do that, I'm going to come back to my Data tab, come to Get Data, from Other Sources and from Table Range. And because I've got this table selected, this is the table it's going to load into my Power Query editor. Now for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just going to call this query Output. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to tidy up this table by filtering out those blanks. So selecting any of the columns, I'm just going to uncheck null and click OK. I then don't want these final two columns because these are what the expected result is going to be. And that's the purpose of having this power query. So I'm just going to delete those. And what we essentially want is anything that says new thing we want to include. And with the old thing, I want to look at the column, comments column and if it's got no new, we want to include it. But if it has a new thing, we want to exclude it. So to do this, come to add column up here at the top and come to conditional column. So as our first step, we're going to come to our thing column. I'm going to say if it contains the word new, we want it included. So we're going to say include. Now, depending on what that first column is, you could use any of these other values, so it either equals or does not equal, or potentially begins with. So if it's a reference number and your old reference numbers start with one thing and your new ones start with something else, you might want to use this option. For this particular example, we're using contains. Then as a second condition, we're going to look at the comments column and we're going to say if that contains no new, we also want to have it included. And for everything else, we want to say exclude click OK. And we've got that new column in there. So we're going to just call this output. And then if we want to actually have our table only showing the things we want to have included, we can filter this column and take out those exclude. And we might also want to not have this column in our final output. And you can simply just remove it. Come back to my home tab, click close and load. And it will load in my table. So you can see here, my table has been loaded in. It's kept values 3, 4, 5, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11. And I can check it against my original to see if I've got the same results. So I've taken out my blanks and my excluded, 3, 4, 5, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So you can see that that has now kept the things that I wanted to keep. The benefit of this is if I were to add in new things, so say I wanted to call this new thing one, with no new thing. And then if I were to hit refresh, so you come to data and hit refresh all, 
you'll find that then that's now just added into my table because I picked something that should be included. But if I added something else to this table that was an exclude item, so let's just copy a couple of these for examples. So we'll copy a few more down here. We'll just change the reference numbers. So we'll call that one 13, 14, and 15. Again, coming to data tab, clicking refresh all. And we come back to my output. You can see that it has included 13 and 15, but 14 has been excluded, which is in line with what we were expecting. So this is how you can use Power Query to tidy up a data set based on multiple columns by using that conditional column. I hope you have found this video useful. I'd love to hear your thoughts or potential examples of how you might use this. Remember to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel. And I look forward to seeing you in a future video.